So many of us either blame or give credit to others for how we feel. You make me so mad, you make me so sad, and even you make me so happy. The reality of it is, is that nobody can make us feel a certain way. And in this video, I'm gonna prove it to you. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos just to help you out. But anyways, the topic today is how we blame others about making us feel a certain way and then we do things based on the way they made us feel. So this is a very important mental health topic. So so I'm gonna warn you, at the beginning of this video, when I give you some examples, it's gonna come off a little tough lovey, but I guarantee by the end of this video, you're going to feel empowered, okay? So let's get started. All right, so let's imagine a scenario, okay? Let's imagine you have a friend. You may not even have to imagine this. Let's, let's think about your friend who is always late. They're always late, maybe 15 minutes late. Maybe you're that friend, okay? And let's say you're supposed to meet him for coffee at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so you go and you're going to meet him for coffee. You sit down, you get there maybe five minutes early, and then all of a sudden it's 10 o'clock. And now you're angry, you're angry. And they show up 15 minutes late. And at the end of it, you're mad, you're upset. You're upset because they were late. Now, let's do the exact same scenario, but let's say you're there and I don't know, maybe you have a book with you. Or maybe you found something interesting on social media. Maybe, a, maybe one of my videos, right? And you're sitting there and you're watching it or you're listening to it, or you're reading it, and all of a sudden 10 o'clock's rolling around, and all of a sudden you think, because you're so sucked into this book or show or whatever you're doing, you're saying, man, I hope they show up 15 minutes late because I'm really into this right now. And then they show up 15 minutes late, and it's not a big deal. So the same person was late by 15 minutes, but in one of those scenarios, you were upset, and in the other scenario, you didn't mind. So based on that, how could that person make you feel a certain way even though they didn't change at all? What's that telling you? Here's another example, okay? Let's say in one scenario, you know, you're, you're trying to get ready, you know, in the morning to go to work and, you know, just things start going wrong around the house and maybe, maybe you're trying to make some food and you messed that up or if you got kids, maybe your kids were making you run late or whatever it is. And then you drive off to work and you're stuck in traffic and you're just so upset. Oh, these drivers make me so mad. They make me so angry. They're gonna make me late, right? And then you show up late and you're upset about it, okay? Now, Let's take that exact same scenario, but everything goes really smooth in the morning. You make your breakfast, or you get your kid ready and you take them to school. You're great. You're so good even that you're early. You left 15 or 20 minutes early. There's the exact same amount of traffic, but you're cool, you're chilling, you're just listening to your music. Maybe you got some Spotify on and you're just jamming and you show up to work on time and you're totally cool. The traffic didn't change in either one of those scenarios, but in one you were really upset, and in the other you didn't mind. Are you starting to follow me here? Are you starting to see how other people and situations cannot make us feel a certain way? This is extremely important. And once I realized this, my life started to get better. My mental health started to improve because I was constantly playing the victim, if you will. If people, places, and situations would just act right, do the things that I thought they should do, everything would be fine. Quit making me feel a certain way. But when I started to look at this in a different light from a different perspective, I'm like, oh wow, nobody can make me feel a certain way. See, what's really fascinating to me is about our thoughts and our emotions and things like that. It's kind of like the weather, all right? So, it's not always raining, but if certain circumstances come into play, like temperature, air pressure, cloud formations, if these things come together, then it rains. It's kind of like our emotions. We're not always mad, we're not always sad, we're not always happy. But if certain things align, it can trigger one of these emotions. So this is really important. This is actually a concept that I learned from meditation. But the reality is we need to quit playing the victim and making believe that people are making us feel a certain way. And for me, it's actually quite silly when you think about it, right? Like if somebody had the power or the ability to make us feel something so easily, 
then wouldn't we be just as able to make ourselves feel a certain way? Wouldn't that be great? If every time we were sad, we're like, boom, I'm gonna feel happy. I'm gonna make myself feel happy, right? Or I'm angry, boom, I'm gonna make myself feel not angry. Oh, I'm anxious, boom, I'm gonna make myself feel calm. No, it's not that simple. So why are we make believing that other people have so much power that they can make us feel a certain way. And this is what I'm talking about. This concept, this idea is really empowering. Once I figured this out, I'm no longer the victim. I'm no longer the victim of everybody and everything going on around me, okay? Like they're not in control of my emotions. Hell, I'm barely in control of my emotions. You know what I mean? But. What's the solution to this? My personal solution is meditation. Meditation is my solution to dealing with my thoughts, my feelings, my emotions, because what meditation teaches me to do is to not run away from them, okay? Not to distract myself, not to go out and do toxic behaviors. Meditation for me helps me sit and embrace these emotions. And what it's doing is, it's actually rewiring your brain to not want to run away from those feelings so much. You remember that these things are going to pass. And for the most part, these are just sensations in your body. The issue that we have with most of these emotions and feelings is that we latch onto certain thoughts and we play them over and over and over and over and over again. And it's usually not helpful. It's definitely getting more into the problem rather than the solution. And when we obsess on these thoughts, it makes us feel even worse. You see what I mean? So meditation for me helps me embrace these things and just sit and be with my feelings, be with my emotions. And I'm able to get some clarity on the situation. I start to realize, oh, I'm not mad at the traffic. I'm upset because all these other things happened this morning, right? Oh, I'm not mad at the girlfriend. Or I'm not mad at my son or I'm not mad at my coworker. I'm mad because these other circumstances happened. And then we start to get this pause because one of the issues a lot of us have is that we lash out on the wrong people in the wrong moment because somebody just said the thing that set us off, but really we were upset about a million other things that happened. So when we start to practice meditation, my preferred practice of meditation is mindfulness, which is a lot of moments throughout the day of being very present and noticing what's happening in my mind as well as in my body. And when I can do that, I can work on myself, I can improve my mental health. But anyways, this is this is a topic I wanted to touch on based on some stuff that I've been seeing, you know, online and people tweeting about and stuff like that. I'm like, nobody can make you feel a certain way. So I hope this video helped you out. And if you think it might help somebody else, make sure you go share it. Share it on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever you gotta do, baby. Just go out and share it, all right? But that's all I got for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, again, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. So make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. I love all of you so, so much. And if you wanna remind people to focus on the solution, bam, check out the Rewired Soul merch shop on the back of every shirt. It says, focus on the solution. It's a great little reminder. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.